Yeah, guys, it really is. And that program was new in 2020, so they just hit the year mark earlier this month. Charlotte Fire, of course, says that the pandemic has been hard for everyone, but the, for their firefighters, they've really had to rise to the occasion. They have certainly done that, and they say it's partly due to a secret weapon named CAT. Being a first responder isn't glamorous. On any given day, fire crews encounter tragedies that can be hard to process. Our members have have done CPR on children, on babies, and that takes a lot out of people. That's why the Charlotte Fire Department is grateful for Cat. I see her come out of the car. I'm like, Cat, hey, how you doing? <laughs> Cat is actually a dog. She doesn't know what's going on. She doesn't know whether it's problems at home, stress with your kids, whether it's job related stress. She just knows that you're not feeling great. Come here. Hey, what are you doing? Lady Catherine, cat for short, is a certified therapy dog and after a year in service has been to every station on every shift within CFD. That's a sweet girl. Her whole job is just yeah. to be there for firefighters. She can literally smell that stress on people and she wants to help. She she wants she kind of goes over and she'll lean up against someone and kind of just melt into them and let them love on her and just say, you know, hey, tell me all about it. She's a pretty good listener. Regardless of what was going on, the the things that were changing, it was it was cool to just kind of be able to hang out with her and, you know, roll around on the floor, get dog hair all over you. It was fun. Stop. And teacher who helps the department Stop. with education programs. Roll. Good girl, yeah. She can do the stop, drop, and roll, the crawl low under smoke, the feel a door for heat, going to a meeting place and sitting there and waiting for the whole family. Um, if she can do all of that, they'll remember that for the rest of their lives. And Kat couldn't have arrived at a better time. To say that this has been the most challenging year in fire service history is, is probably not an understatement. We have asked more of our members than we ever have in the past, and our members have risen to that challenge. It's just one way CFD is investing in themselves. Mental health is part of your physical health. If you are not mentally healthy, it has all kinds of physical repercussions on you. Well, how could you not like her? How could you not like her, right? She gives great hugs. We should note that this canine program is funded completely by donations, fundraising efforts, and through grants. And the program has been so successful that they are actually in the process of training another dog named Phoenix. They are expected to start in July, and they will hopefully be placed with a firefighter right here at Charlotte Fire, who will be their canine handler. In Charlotte tonight, Annie Satowski, Fox 46.